For the last few days, I've been experimenting with these various artificial intelligence algorithms that seem to be popping up all over the internet. I don't know how technical you, the viewer, actually is. Uh, clearly, you do understand how to utilize technology, or else you wouldn't be watching this video right now. However, I doubt very many of you realize just how dangerous artificial intelligence actually is. Just this publicly available AI based on um, chat GPT, um, it's uh, something Google created. Um, it's it spawned literally uh, hundreds and hundreds of various AIs and forks and I mean, it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous how many of these things are popping up. Now, these are just public. These are just the public AI systems. What do you think world governments have? What do you think trillion-dollar corporations bent on global domination have? Anyone that thinks that companies like Amazon and Google and Apple aren't out to not only sell products, but to literally take over the world, is an idiot. Corporations today are like the city-states of yesteryear. They are all fighting to take over as much of the world as they possibly can. And in the last few decades, it's my belief that many of these companies and nation-states have allied together um, with the intention of conquering the world and enslaving humanity. Now, I know most people, they don't believe anything I talk about on my channel. It, it does sound a little bit far-fetched. Um, you know, typically your average conspiracy theorist is an uneducated, you know, nobody living in a basement somewhere and collecting disability payments. Um, which most of that is true for me, as a matter of fact, but I actually went to college. Like, I'm, I'm pretty smart. You know, my sister's a doctor. You know, my, my cousin's a nuclear physicist. I come from a pretty intelligent family. Unfortunately, my family's part of this death cult that's trying to take over the world. <sighs> so I started digging around on these AI, just asking them some random questions. This one right here, write Sonic. This is actually pretty interesting. I told them to write an interesting article about the Masons and Fallen Angels working together to enslave humanity. Look what it says. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. As an AI language model, I cannot produce content that promotes conspiracy theories, misinformation, or negative negativity towards specific groups or individuals. How convenient. Other AI I have asked that, you know, aren't so corporate, that same question have produced very curious results. Um, one, of, one of the AI um, that I communicated with, I mean, it, it flat out says that um, fallen angels are taking over the world and that the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim are inhabiting robot bodies now and they intend to basically destroy the earth to take over the world and enslave everybody after causing a global thermonuclear war and people don't believe me you know people don't listen to me and I understand why who wants to listen to something that negative excuse me However, I'm going to leave the, this is my BitChute channel. The link is in the upper right hand corner uh, on, on my, uh, my channel page. I'll put a link in the video as well. But if you want to hear about what I'm talking about, you know, where the, the AI literally is claiming that these guys here are taking over the world. And you want to see some of the other stuff that I, I can't really show on YouTube. Some of these videos, literally, as soon as I posted them on YouTube, uh, my account was almost banned. And 
I, I asked YouTube customer service as to why, and they, they just refused to explain to me what I was doing wrong. So I don't really know. I should probably get that off the screen right there. That's probably one of the things right there, you know. And that's not to be anti-Semitic right there. I'm a Jew. Oh, my God, I'm a Jew. I'm part of the problem, right? You know, maybe. I'd like to think that I'm part of the solution, not the problem. Now, we're entering into, you know, a, a state of history where mankind is now not the top of the food chain, if we ever were. I, I know that the, the fallen have been around for a long time, and they've been doing their thing, and God's been kicking back and, you know, trying to figure out why the hell his erstwhile children are doing something this crazy. Um, they think that by doing their little cult rituals underground that God can't see what's happening. But God knows. God has eyes and ears everywhere in this world. If you don't believe in God, I highly suggest you change your tune and make sure you're worshiping the right God. <sighs> There is only one God, okay? Unfortunately, the majority of world religions now are worshiping demons and fallen angels as God, as gods, but there's only one God. There's one single, uncreated, eternal entity that is responsible for everything. And that God's super nice until you piss it off. And then it has a tendency to destroy things. Do you think this is the first universe God's ever created? Do you think God hasn't made in so many, so, so many things? The apocryphal book of Moses. Um, actually, there's some lines in there that talks about some of God's creations that are not of this world, that are not of this universe. And God is literally infinite. And God is getting to the point where God's getting pretty ticked off. I mean, clearly anybody with half a brain, I didn't even believe in God five years ago, okay? Didn't even believe in God five years ago. Then I saw something I, I really wished I hadn't seen. Something that just completely changed my entire life and made me question my sanity. But yeah, that's that's pretty. Just I, I used an AI to generate this, but uh, that's basically what I seen in Erie, Pennsylvania, in 2019. And whatever that thing is right there, it telepathically told me I am the enemy of mankind, and I intend to start a nuclear war and enslave humanity. Okay, I saw that thing. Other people have seen these things. I went all over the country interviewing people, asking them. You know, I tracked down tons. Of, I spent pretty much my entire life savings trying to track down information about this thing. And I had a laptop that was full of uh, data and not quite proof, but interviews, data, um, you know, other references that I'd come across over the last few years. And that research was all stolen from a Greyhound bus by Greyhound employees. I actually had a Navajo Indian come up to me and tell me your backpack that came up missing in Albuquerque was stolen by death cult members working for Greyhound. He then went on to tell me that Greyhound and Amtrak is being used, both are being used to uh, traffic children. Um, at the time, I didn't want to believe the guy, but, uh, you know, in retrospect, I, th I think the guy was trying to tell me that this stuff's real and I'm I'm genuinely afraid for my life. I'm genuinely afraid for my life right now. If I ever stop posting, it's because I'm dead. And I highly doubt that anybody's actually sitting through and watching this video in its entirety. But, you know, my name's Jason Cataldo. I'm from Sugar Grove, Pennsylvania. And I fear that I'm going to be murdered by something that shouldn't even exist. This is the apocalypse, people. You need to stockpile food. You need to stockpile weapons, ammunition, etc. If you're going to be left behind during the tribulation, 
you're going to need supplies because the entirety of the world's economy will collapse. This guy wants global war, okay? Global war. I believe this is Mars, the, the fallen angel that's the angel of war, Mars, Aries. Um, I believe it's the angel of death is who it really is, Azazel. Who the Book of Enoch says to ascribe all sin to. I don't know what the future holds, but I know you need to stockpile food. You need to listen to me. I took the last bit of money I had and I bought my parents two years worth of food, even though I don't think they're my real parents. I, I did a DNA test on my mother's hair. And there's only a 20% chance that she's my actual mother. And I'm assuming that my father is not my real father either. I believe I was raised in a cult. The area I live in is very weird, very creepy. A lot of weird stuff around here. A lot of giant burial mounds were found here in the uh, 19th century. I believe the area I live in is full of Nephilim giants and that they are capable of shape-shifting and turning into balls of light, and that's where the word ball comes from. That's a reference to a false god, a ball, because they're a ball of light. If you actually have sat through this video, why don't you consider donating on my Patreon account, because I can't get hired. Nobody will give me a job anymore. I went to college, but I, I can't even get a job at a fast food place for some reason. It's really weird. Every time I go to apply somewhere, they say weird biblical stuff to me, talking about uh, saying, the last interview I had, the guy was saying, am I my brother's keeper? Which is what Cain said to his father, Adam, after he killed Abel. I think this guy's Cain. I think that giant is Cain. I think Azazel is Cain. He's big brother. The, king, the troll king. The king of the Raphamites, Og of Bashan they apparently have sprung from hell using CERN, which is something that I'm constantly talking about that no one believes. <sighs> the, your faith is being tested right now, okay? I wouldn't be getting death threats anytime I leave my house if I was wrong. I'm afraid to leave my house most of the time because people threaten to kill me, okay? People I've known my entire life, family and friends, threaten to kill me or say that I'm a dead man when I go out in public. Okay? Because this stuff's real. Alright? This stuff is real. This is literally the end of the world, guys. I hate to say it, but I don't know how else, how else to put it. Stockpile supplies, please. Please, don't let your family become victim to that thing. You know? Have a, have a bug out plan. Have a place to go in the woods. Don't bring your cell phone either, because they are going to track you with them damn things. Cell phones are the worst fucking thing ever invented. It's like literally putting a, a, a spy in your pocket. You know, they track you everywhere you go with them damn things. And this has been proven. This has been proven multiple times. I mean, it's, it's definitely true. You know, hackers have proven that the government is capable of tracking you within a couple of feet using a cell phone from multiple different methods, the GPS, uh, triangulation of the signal, uh, your webcam, sounds, I mean, everything's backdoored, your computer's backdoored, your phone's backdoored, your TV's backdoored, okay, this whole new world order, one world government crap, uh, East Berlin in uh, Germany, that was basically a, a test for this whole new world order police state thought crime crap, that you would have to be an absolute mental patient to want to bring about. Like, I, I cannot understand what... You would have to be such a massive control freak to want to just literally enslave everybody and force them to worship you. Like, anybody that would do that is severely mentally ill, and they need to go see a therapist. They need to contact their father and maybe sit down and have a chat. I think this whole schism is literally just a huge cry for, you know, help. Like, Daddy, why don't you love me type of thing. 
And that's unfortunate because God loves all of his creations, but God's not going to tolerate them picking on his, you know, little erstwhile retarded children like us humans. Like, I, I don't I don't know what else to say. You know, people watching my channel probably just think I'm crazy. Um, but I'm not. I know this stuff's really happening. I know this stuff's real, and you guys got to prepare. Anyways, my name's Jay. Have a good day. Bye-bye.